Hi guys, welcome to the channel, quick general love reading for my friends Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So let's find out together what's coming through for you, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus in the love arena. Let's see what we can get for you guys. And we are ready. So your energy is King of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles, the Devil, Three of Swords, your person's energy is Ten of Swords, Queen of Swords, Four of Swords, Eight of Swords, boy, what a combination. Meeting energy is Seven of Pentacles, Ace of Swords, the Word, Three of Cups, Nine of Pentacles. Our focus, Knight of Pentacles, bottom of the deck, the Chariot, a desire for success, guys, difficult to find it in a connection, challenged um, by energies like the ones that are on the table. This can even be a desire to move on. This connection is not a healthy one, unfortunately, and some of you are doing a lot in favor of it, but there are no rewards. It's like you are doing more than a partner and this person is stuck the Queen of Swords can be even the energy that they can receive from some of you, considering the Ace. It's a conversation, but this person would prefer to avoid the topic, you know, when it comes to the problems uh, that are involved in this connection. The Devil is a cycle, guys, paired up with the Six of Pentacles. It can be a problematic situation. Money can uh, flow. Uh, kind of away from this connection because um, you can take care of multiple things. This person is not able to match um, this aspect. Three of Cups. Fun connection, maybe in the early stages. Then time factor because of the Seven of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles as our focus is an energy that is not blessing uh, the connection. It can be an apology. You can get it by your person, but can you trust their words? Because it seems that um, some of you can truly be disappointed, Three of Swords, and you can be more mature than this person. That's why the opportunity to end the connection can be more than just a thought. A lot of chances to be single moving forward guys for some of you so two cards wanted to come out balancing act like the temperance um looking for common grounds meeting uh, someone else halfway uh, trying to compromise all right but it has to be a two-way street and this person is not up to the task ghost lens this can be about um, ghosting someone if we think about a conversation and then off we go um, in order to pursue something different, so no contact. It can even be a way of handling conversations coming from this person. They can be super quiet for swords. They can be called out guys because of the queen of swords bottom of the deck intention it's important because at the end of the day we have to understand um, what can truly be achieved in a connection like this one healthy choices yes indeed Making healthy choices in love and in life, self-love, self-care, being happier. Separation, bottom of the deck. 
sadness, missing you, thinking about you, yearning, unsure of future. Guys, the Tree of Swords uh, makes the point because it's a difficult energy to handle. But sometimes um, we can face problematic situations and at the end of the day, we have to make a choice. Indeed, we have to make a decision. Mm, are we going to settle for a situation that is not good for us, first and foremost? Uh, and if we realize that the best possible decision is the one to end a connection, then we have to take the necessary steps in order to move forward. Some of you can be uh, taken advantage of by this person. The Six of Pentacles is a one man up, one man down dynamic. No fairness, no balance, no respect, um, no equal give and take. The devil can bring everything to an excess, you know? Maybe passion was great. We can say that. The Four of Swords um, kind of offers a figure that is laying down. Maybe this person thinks that a connection is merely a deal of passion and pleasure. They are stuck in their own way, Eight of Swords. They cannot, um, they cannot move even when it comes to their uh, thought process. The Ten of Swords is just around the corner. Um, they can take the hit because of the end of the connection. It seems um, super difficult for this person to avoid uh, the separation if they are able to manifest somehow, some way, the Queen of Swords energy. Uh, we can think about someone that can even say um, things in a harsh way without thinking about the consequences. The Queen of Swords is a smart character, but I stand by the consideration that um, some of you can truly decide to call out a partner, regardless of the level of commitment that, that can be involved, guys, in a connection like this one. Uh, it's not working, and it seems that if it is not possible to find success, proper success, I mean, fulfillment, satisfaction, reciprocal growth, uh, the opportunity to be single again uh, can become truly a, a meaningful goal. So let's find out more, guys. Let's see. Let's investigate the Queen of Swords. But uh, first, I want to go for the Four of Swords, Eight of Swords combination of energies. Two of Cups, Queen of Wands, Six of Wands, Five of Cups. Regrets, disappointments, sadness, what this person can truly bring to the table, unfortunately. Um, the connection was fine from their perspective because of the passionate side, Queen of Wands. Victory for this person can be related um, to the sexual side of a connection. The Two of Cups, amazing energy, we know that, but in this case, this person is focusing on the Three of Cups energy, we got it, and they are missing, they were missing the point about the Two Cups behind the back of the figure in the Five. No real chance to grow together with a special person. So this can be a missed chance, guys, it can. It is also possible that we can say that for some of you, this can be a blessing in disguise, you know? Let's see the Queen of Swords. Empress, Nine of Pentacles, Word, Conversation. Conversation that can uh, truly uh, put a closing point on a connection that cannot be defined as a positive one, guys, unfortunately. The Empress is an energy about a healthy development. It can be truly the healthy choices, Oracle card. Uh, in order to find this type of growth, we have to be single. In order to be single, we have to end this connection, separation. The word shows up uh, twice. This person cannot avoid it. 
Let's see your perspective, guys. Let's go for the King of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles combination. And then, out of curiosity, let's go for the Devil. Some of you maybe have paid for a lot of things, even for this person. Even if it was like a, an investment, let's say, and I am being generous, uh, the investment uh, didn't uh, pay dividends. The Emperor counterpart for the Empress, Ace of Cups. Some of you will have to take charge of this situation. Um, regardless of the level of commitment, guys, this person is not up to the task when it comes to the opportunity to be a fair companion. Um, if you were committed, this connection is not here to stay. The Ace of Cups is a gift, guys, but as we usually share in the readings, it's a two-way street. First and foremost, it's the virtue to love ourselves so that we can love another person, but it has to be a two-way street. And in this case, uh, some of you were doing more than your partner. And that's why the Three of Swords uh, might have already started to increase um, its influence, you know? Your disappointment can be bigger and bigger. Kinda day after day, if we follow the Seven of Pentacles. So, the Devil. Seven of Wands. Page of Swords. Eight of Cups. Gathering knowledge, considering the Page of Swords. Also, an immature behavior that you can perceive. Uh, the Seven of Wands is a resistance, a defensive stand. Uh, if we look at it from your perspective, it can be the decision to... Um, resist intimacy it's like you can avoid you can deny sex with this person because you do not want to be with them anymore um if the seven of wands is a crossover energy this person can try to avoid the end of the connection because they do not want to lose you you know it seems super difficult. The Eight of Cups is just around the corner. The figure in the Eight of Cups is ready to go all out on an adventure in order to pursue uh, the two cups that were missing. This person is not able to offer this energy properly. It can be a sad realization, guys. I will not argue with that, but it seems that um, we cannot avoid it, you know? Let's go for the Ace of Swords in the meeting, guys. The conversation, let's find out uh, a little bit more about it. Justice. If you are married, it can be about legal matters. If not, right and fair decision. The Justice Lady can swing the Ace of Swords in a Queen of Swords fashion for me. That's why I was saying that the Queen of Swords can be a crossover energy. You can call out this person. No balance. A connection like this one cannot last. Ten of Wands, overwhelming situation. Um, you are carrying on all the burdens of this connection, but at some point, we are going to reach the breaking point. And excuse me for the repetition, but it's necessary. There can be relief, guys, for some of you. As soon as this connection is over, Seven of Pentacles, Time Factor, coming back one more time. Five of Pentacles, not enough. Also, an issue about finances, guys. It's like wasting money for some of you. You can be in a better position if we think about the King of Pentacles. This person, something is not, um, is not quite right. The Knight of Pentacles is an energy that we can rely on, that we can trust, you know? It can describe someone trustworthy, I mean. The Five of Pentacles is not in alignment, and a Nine of Pentacles person can spot the difference, you know? 
if we think about a connection properly uh, established or one that is built on shaky grounds. And here comes back uh, the King of Pentacles. Guys, uh, what can I say to you if you resonate? Challenging situation, but this connection, again, um, doesn't seem to be one that can be here to stay. Uh, the investment didn't pay dividends and it is not paying dividends. Um, again, it can be a harsh realization according to the timeline, of course, but um, this person, this person doesn't know uh, what it takes to be in a healthy partnership. And despite the effort um, or the willingness that some of you uh, were available to grant um, in favor of this connection, it's pointless. It is. And that's why some of you will have to make the healthiest and best possible choice for you because uh, settling for a connection that um, only brings turmoil, sadness, disappointments, uh, and then we become bitter, you know, we argue. This is not wise. We have to break free from the devilish cycle. You can, you can achieve your clarity, you can get it. And then it will be just a matter of uttering the words. For those of you that can be called to power through a justice process, if this is a marriage, for example, a lot of attention can be necessary. But this can be a rite of passage that can set you free in order to move on towards something different. For this person, it can be a loss. If that's the case, they had it coming, guys. So... I hope that I made myself clear and this was helpful somehow, some way. Let us know if you resonate, comment, like, share, subscribe to the channel. Until next time, I wish you the best. Take very good care of you and I will talk to you soon. Bye.